we found these four bucks this morning. We found them changing areas, and they're in this great big sage flat here. say patience kills the buck and, and that's what we've got to apply here so let's see if we can't get in on them hi i'm guy eastman and this is eastman's hunting tv on today's episode we're gonna go to the great state of Nevada after big mule deer bucks with a bow and arrow. We're gonna be tagging along with Eastman's Elevated podcast host, Brian Barney. Now Brian's got a lot of great content on his podcast and he's out here to create some more. So let's not waste any time, let's get in that big open sagebrush country and see if Brian can take some of his own advice and get close to one of these big bucks with a bow and arrow. Early in the morning here. Drove late last night. I drove to like two in the morning or so, and so we're just laid up here on the side of the highway. Having a cup of coffee here. Got a couple more hours to go, but I'm gonna be in the mountains today hunting mule deer. It's gonna happen. So uh, get some coffee in us, get back on the road, be there before we know it. Alright, well, we just pulled off here just looking at a really bucky feature and spotted some does up there and then all of a sudden we picked out two different groups of bucks up there. So we got 13 different bucks up there. They're a long ways. It's tough to tell what they are, but we can see some good frames up there and just always a good sign to be seeing deer and, and good bucks. So um, we're just trying to formulate a game plan. We may head up there with three days worth of food and see where we're at. 13 bucks up there. We better at least give it another five minutes here to see where we're at. Here we go, we got 13 bucks located up on the hill. We're just gonna go light. We could stay overnight if we had to. We're gonna go get up above them and we need to judge them still. They bedded in some trees. We can't get a good look at them, but um, we're hunting bucks. We're in Nevada, doesn't get any better than this. Just gotta climb up to the ridge here and make our way over to those things and get another look and hopefully get a play this afternoon. Well, hunting high country mule deer is not for the faint of heart. We're working hard here. We've climbed about 2,000 vertical feet, been going a couple hours. We about got our elevation now of those bucks. Now we just need to side hill over and get above them and be patient, see if we can make something happen over there. But we're working hard, breaking a sweat. It's hot, it's about 80, 85 degrees out, not much wind, but um, we're making it. Hunting high country mule deer doesn't get any better. side hill and over to those bucks and started to rain and in the summertime usually there isn't rain without lightning at least it's very rare we've heard a couple rumbling over there so we're just taking cover in a safe spot here and some small groups of trees and a little depression and gonna ride it out and hopefully it clears up for this evening and we can get on those bucks Barney is putting in some serious miles in the Nevada backcountry looking for a trophy mule deer buck. All right, here we go. Um, we're headed up. We got an ultralight assault after these bucks. We've got 
three days worth of gear and water in the back. We got to pack all our water to the top. So we got about 200 uh, ounces each and um, we're gonna make our ascent now and our climb, drop our stuff and start hunting those bucks. Uh, a couple shooters in there for sure. So um, we're looking forward to it. We're gonna get narrow in one of these bucks. high left. Just look too good for there not to be a buck in there. We're starting to find them on bucky high country spots, aren't we? Alright, well that escalated quickly. We were just climbing up. It was sunny when we left and have these storms building to the southwest here and so we're just waiting it out before we climb this ridge here and expose ourselves. So there isn't much here, but enough to ride out these small storms. So we'll see what happens. A little lightning in the distance. Well, we got close to those bucks. Dang it. Um, wind was just screaming over the ridge and I thought I could cheat it left or right. It's a tough deal, you know. Those bucks are in the perfect spot right over the ridge and all of them are right there and a couple we wanted to shoot. Close, because you just never win trying to cheat that wind. I just have to learn my lesson over and over and over. But um, we'll keep trying here, find another buck. week we're tagging along with Brian Barney as he chases mule deer in Nevada. New morning here. We're looking for those bucks that we spooked yesterday. We watched them go over and cross into the saddle into some of these drainages so just trying to put on some miles and relocate these things and try to earn a stock here. Rough rugged country. This uh, high country it it sure takes a tax on you. That just wears you out day in day out and trying to pack your water up here but 
We're charging hard today, just gotta earn a stock. Easy part's over. You drew a mule deer tag your dreams, now you need to kill a buck like this. Easier said than done, but I have the answers for you in the Eastman's online mule deer course. Myself, Guy Eastman, and Brian Barney put together the most comprehensive online mule deer instruction that you can find with several different topics of discussion from basic safety and first aid, to gear, to tactics, to glassing, strategy, and lastly, meat care and everything in between. That's just a few of the topics that we're gonna cover. So make sure you check out the Eastman's online mule deer course. Brian Barney is turning up lots of mule deer here in Nevada, but hasn't put one in his sights quite yet. Brian's hoping that a change of location and elevation will bring him some luck. All right, starting our morning here. We got a little change of plans. Uh, so we packed out of that backcountry spot we were in, went to move locations, and um, we found some bucks on our way, and they're just kind of in the sage flat, some pretty nice bucks. So um, we're just putting a plan of attack together, got out this morning, relocated some good ones, really nice, tall, heavy ones. So we got them bedded out here in the sage and uh, gonna, gonna make a play, see if we can't let the winds come up a little bit, see if we can't get close, get narrow in them. Well, we found these four bucks this morning. We found them changing areas, and they're in this great big sage flat here. I always say patience kills the buck, and, and that's what we've got to apply here. So we're psyched, got one located. Let's see if we can't get in on them.
How thrilling was that? Oh my gosh, what a stock. I'm still shaking. I'm just beside myself. I absolutely live for that. Got into range of that buck and just patience kills the buck all the way around. Just wait for him to stand, wait for him not to be looking at me, make sure I got a good range and draw back and come up and just put a shot on him. He made it what? Maybe 20 yards? That blood spore just put it on him. I mean, I, I'm just beside myself. Um, I absolutely live for bow hunting. It doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely incredible. It's unreal when it comes together. What an awesome tall buck. We we found this buck in the sage flat. And we were able to just put an epic stock on this thing. It took us two and a half hours of crawling in on this thing and then and then to just put a perfect shot on him. I, I just couldn't be happier. Um, Nevada buck in the books and um, man oh man what an experience and, and we had to grind for him too. We hunted hard. We were in the high country for days on end and, uh, we got some stocks on some bucks and got close, but boy, to get it done on this buck just means the world to me. This is just awesome. I'm Brian Barney, host of Eastman's Elevated Podcast. I do this podcast to help you become a better Western bow hunter. I help inspire and help motivate you and help give you those next level tactics to be more successful out west. Um, I absolutely love bow hunting, it's my passion and I share that on the podcast. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're, you're a beginner, we have great information for you, or a seasoned veteran. We dive deep down the rabbit hole of western hunting. This, this podcast is my passion and bow hunting's my passion and I just want to share that with you guys.